What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Legs Cube Draft. I uh, wanted to cover a couple things. First thing I wanted to cover was the fact that I had a treat for Hunter sitting on the desk. I went to go take a shower, and when I got back out here, it was gone. And that friggin' sneak must have taken it off this desk and eaten it. And that is surprising to me, because how did he know it was up here? Did he use his good sniffer? I'm sure he could smell it. I gave him a treat in the kitchen, and I was like, I'm going to get a second one, because he loves these, and I'm going to just give him another one later. So I just put it on the desk, went to take a shower. When I got back, it was gone. He didn't even look like he took it. I was like, did you take that treat? And he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I was surprised. Well, at least you had to get a conversation about it. Yeah, that, well, it was one-sided, but, you know. Uh, the next thing I wanted to say was that uh, I did get my car repair costs back. It's going to be about $800, which is unfortunate. He Oof. said three to five. Um, it ended up, he ended up charging me the high end, which was five. I was like, I can't argue with it. I mean, whatever it is, what it is. There was an extra part he needed to get. Like the, the bumper was bent. So he had to like buy a new, like reinforcement piece or something. It was like 185. So that was 685 after tax. It was like 730. And then he offered to, uh, polish and buff my, my, my headlights because they were extremely, uh, like not corroded, but I don't know what the word is. Like it's where they get the yellow, the yellow tint on them and they're not clear. Um, anyway, he, he offered to fix that and it's got a lifetime warranty on it for 80. And so I was like, if you can do it all for 800, I'll do that. But I did incorporate that into the, 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 the goal for this month. Um, and I wanted to be clear that that's not saying that you guys, I'm, I, I want $1,500 from you guys. Like that's never the case. I'm just saying these are my expenses for this month. And if you guys donate, that's what they're going towards. So, uh, I just wanted to be clear. Because uh, sometimes people are like, well, how it's not our, you know, we shouldn't be paying for your car costs or whatever. And I'm like, that's not what you're doing. I'm just letting you know that if you do donate because you appreciate the content, that's where it's going to go. That's that's all that it comes down to. That being said, tonight we are doing the Commander Draft. Uh, Commander, not Draft. Uh, well, sort of. We are drafting a deck. Yeah, that's true. We're drafting a deck from all the cards in existence. <clears throat> OMG Zoro, thank you so much for the resub. Really, or the regular sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, and uh, it, that's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern, so be sure to check that out if you guys if you guys are interested. But for now, we're going to do this Legacy Cube. And in the future, I might actually uh, save all the spoiled cards for the day and go over them at the beginning. 100 transparency bit. Thanks so much, Bearded Tiger. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Why isn't the chat working? I'm not thrilled with that. So, unfortunately, no chat right now. Can you just do me a favor? Can you read all the chat and who said it? So if we can, so the YouTube viewers can get the same experience? But you just did. I didn't read the chat, though. Like the whole chat? Yeah, the whole of it. You, as, they, as they come in. OMG Zora says, I'm broke, so my funds better go to awesome jokes. Might get on it. So you do stuff like that. And you just keep going. I don't know. All right, well, think about it. Let me know what you decide. What is the pick here? This card's great. I'm a big fan of this card. It's like a Fraley's, but instead of one ones, you get actual creatures like from your deck. And instead of only killing enchantments and artifacts, she can also creatures of flying. She's almost better than Fraley's. I would say she's better than Fraley's. And that's hard because Fraley's is one of my favorite planeswalkers. But she can't be your commander. That's true, which is a weird thing. I feel like I feel like commander should just have you make any planeswalker commander. I really wish they would make that rule. I don't see why they don't. I don't think there's any off the top of my head. I don't think there's any broken planeswalkers that would not be fair commanders. Like arguably the most broken planeswalker is Jason, Jason Mind Sculptor, right? <clears throat> and with experience playing him commander, like everyone just attacks. Him, he's not. So the, he's a planeswalker. Fine. So like, unlike a creature commander, you can attack a planeswalker commander. I'm gonna take the Rafelos. Yeah, that seems good. Seems like a pretty strong start. I do like a ramp rampaging bell. It's actually surprisingly good. This in this cube, this card just comes down, and if you can make like two or three beasts, you probably just win the game. Soren, without a doubt, I have plenty of doubts on whether it was Soren. That is not a great. I don't. I do not like that Soren at all. Oh, that would actually be pretty brutal in commander. You just make someone's life ten, and it's your commander. Who with who? The old Soren. Oh, is that what they're saying? Yeah, but yeah. like you have to plus him a lot, right? You can't just no. His he can you can just make someone's life total ten. Well, it's not his ult. I mean, you could really soding Markov. That's not it. All right, what's the pick here? You you look while I. Uh, I kind of like Tribelder. I think Bailiff will probably wheel. 
It might wheel. I don't like. I don't like. Yeah, he starts at four tired opponents life totally. Yeah, but like, <clears throat> that's actually pretty good, I guess. But like, that's not to say like there's not legendary creatures that also aren't very very good, right? Like, or is wind? I think wind is probably better than tri builder, right? Um, and for mono green, it's not. It's like whatever. <sighs> well, it's too late now. He messed up. You really messed this up. You messed up. You really ruined it, Michael. Cultivate. Okay, hold on. I'm going to fix this chat. Or I'm not. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. I'm going to end. I'm going to add a bunch of characters at the end of it. And then I'm going to take away a bunch of characters at the end of it. See if that does anything. I doubt it will. I have no idea why it's not working. I'm sorry, guys. Cultivate, you think? I was looking at this Dragon Lord of Tarka, to be quite honest. Dragon Turkey? You're a Dragon Turkey. It could be Cultivate, though. Yeah. Oh, I fixed the chat. Nailed it. Nailed Hooray. it. Lucky, 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 lucky. All right, I'm going to take this Cultivate. Hmm. Master. Master! I think it's Master. I like Wooded Foothills, too, because then we got a bunch of good fetch lands to... But Master is the kind of card you look for in this deck, I think. Alright, so hopefully you guys on the YouTubes did not miss too many uh, spicy meatball comments. Do we just splash this guy? No. <laughs> I mean, we get two of our colors here. Uh-huh. That's actually one of the guys that we consider we can make for Commander, actually. this is I like this card a lot. And it's kind of like having Planeswalker as your Commander. Yeah. I wish he didn't have his ability to use a Sorcery Speed only, but what are you going to do? Well, you could cry about it. Like a little bitch. I think it's Garuk or Sword. I also don't hate this. Boat ship. It might be Sword, actually. I think Sword's probably better. Swords are pretty broken. Yeah, pro black and pro green is pretty okay. Ooh, Avengi. That's kind of the guy you want in this deck, right? Yeah, that's a good payoff. You're a good payoff. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, my car payment was about 800 bucks. And uh, I'm going to go pick that up after this draft. So, Yeah, it's funny because he was like, yeah, it's probably 3 to 5. And I'm like, oh, cool. So probably about average 400 bucks. Yeah, it's twice that. Okay, cool. It's like, it's it's basically your 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 stereotypical car uh, repair experience, I would say. Well, you're going to need a Flingle Wapple and a Ziggy Whoop. So that's going to be an extra 400 No, he said the Ziggy, the Ziggy Whoop is in good shape, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to hear. And he did. Uh, he actually consulted with uh, Sober Scrober while he was while he was working. So I know it. I know it was well looked over. Did he bober your Scrober? I don't really let people bober my Scrober <laughs> anymore. I had a bad experience once, and I. Uh, the Dryad dude's pretty good. I actually think that Dryad dude is pretty good. And it's each upkeep. You know, it's each upkeep, right? Of course, yeah. you do. you're a commander player. It's so funny because I sometimes forget how much like you and I both have completely different magic experience but I sometimes underestimate your knowledge of things because I forget how in depth commander is you know what I mean mm -hmm. like you know some obscure crap that I don't even remember could be hermit Hermy? I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking I was thinking of Miss Piggy for a I second there. hermit especially yeah, in opposition also look at all these I was, I was literally that's exactly what I was thinking Opposition deck incoming. I was hoping this was an opposition, but instead it was just a, an opt. Can't have opposition without opt. I'd like to opt out. I don't know what to take here. Reflecting pool? What's the most likely other color we're, we're going to be? Reflecting pool. That's all the colors. Eh, only sometimes. It's all the times. All the colors all the times. Hmm. I took it. I didn't yet. Crap. I'm going to take the Soul Thai Land. <laughs> oh, your boy came back. Called it. Called shot. That was a called shot. Dang. Eh. Unexpectedly absent, I guess. I don't know. We got a windswept teeth. 
Look, all these look at these look at all these landfall creatures. Makes tokens, makes tokens, makes tokens, makes tokens, makes tokens. Ooh, opposition land. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Oh, hero blade hold. That makes tokens. So I think we're looking like we want to be blue green because of opposition, but if we don't, we have the makings of a green white deck. So I really don't want to take languish because it would kill all of our things. Look at all these white cards. That's literally four, three white cards in a row. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yeah, Crater Hoof seems like it'd be insane in this deck. Those are those are our two uh, our two most desired cards right now. Okay, that's a good one too. <laughs> There's also a trap in this pack. Yeah, but this is also. This is just the card, right? Like, I'm not going to pass the Jace for a Tropical Island, right? As much as I like Rafael's synergy, Jace is pretty good. I mean, we could also get a Breeding Pool, and this could table. It's possible. No way. This Nissa that could is table. never tabling. All right, well, it's it's Jace the Mind Sculptor, so. The Nissa tabling is possible, but not the Trop. Also, having the City's Blessing should be pretty easy with the... Uh... I wish that Regrowth came back. All right, add a dirty bean water. Add a dirty bean water. D B W. Rattleclaw Mystic's pretty good. It taps for both of our colors. The Hot Huntress. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Or it could be the Hoth Huntress uh, from the Ice Planet Hoth from Star Wars. Worth worth considering. Also, Tundra. We can get a Tundra with a Windswept Teeth, allowing Windswept Teeth to get our blue and our green. That is pretty good. <clears throat> It is not a forest, though, which I do have a reservation about. Yeah, but it's pretty good. You like this? I like this guy, though. It's both of our colors. It's a ramp spell that lets us cast Jace or Master of the Wild Hunt. Yeah. I think it's this guy. Plus, I'm pretty sure Opposition's going to come around, so... He said... Uh, I think you should call yourself the Hoth Huntress. I think that's definitely the way you should go there. Uh, it's, I'm from the Ice Planet. Perhaps you're familiar with it. Luke sliced open a Tauntaun and hit it its stomach. I'm not, I'm not dissimilar in this way. <clears throat> There's a lot of cards we could go. Like, we could go Scarab God, just because it's very, very good. Fertile Ground, Channeler Initiate are both two mana. Fertilid Ground? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's an old meme. My home? Yes, I'm familiar with my home. What's the pick here, man? I'm um, look. I'm I'm de I'm deferring to I you. Like the untappy guy or the tappy guy. This guy? Yeah. You like it more in fertile ground? What if we get a Garrick and we can put this on a a land and untap the land with a Garrick? Mm, sure. I took that. You stupid, Mitch. Just kidding. I love you. I think we definitely take Gristlebrand. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's he's just doing a little meme there. It's Woodfall Primus, right? Yeah. Because it fits right into this 8-mana slot. So now we have the 6, 7, 8-mana. That's good. I can't believe that dude got up on this table, this desk, and took that treat. He took it. He was just like... Ooh, Witness. Yeah, I like Witness. That's actually a regrowth. That's the regrowth I was lamenting about. And here it is, in all its witness glory. We could also have three Jaces. We could have this one, this one, and Bellerin. But we're just going to take witness. Like you do. What's going on in your life, Mike? Honesty stream. Uh, well, I go to work a lot, and then I, and then I play Spider-Man, and then I play Commander. That's about it. Also, I eat tacos. Slayerman, thank you so much for the resub. Well, I've been sub for more than two months, but stupid Twitch Prime screwed it up. Witness, I'm witnessing you right now. Don't be so aggressive. Ooh, Emrakul. Get there. That's a 15 one. That guy's probably not getting cast. Not with that. What deliciousness is under steel? He stole a treat. There was a treat on my desk for him. And I went to take a shower, and I came back, and the treat was gone. It's a phantasmal image, right? Did you say not with that attitude? Mm-hmm. It's image, right? Yeah. Image is pretty good. All right, well, I'm taking the image. Our deck's looking pretty sweet. I'm a fan right now. I do hope that Tropical Island comes back. Because who wants to be blue-green anyway? 
Mike ate the treat? It's, Maybe. Pos- it's possible. They are delicious. Also, we are getting tacos after this, so. Tacos Modern Life. Tacos Modern Life. Remember that jam? No. Of course you do. You sing. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. That's a fair point. That's valid. Also, just uh, Kitchen Finks? Bestiary? Compulsive Research? Mike, what is what commander is your least favorite to play against? Um, if I ever sit down against Zer, I know it's not going to be a fun time. Um, Taco's Modern Life. And then something weird like Gadok Teague, where I'm just like, oh, I guess my deck doesn't function. <laughs> well, that's all me spells. Uh, compulsive or Kitchen Finks? I think it's one of these two. I don't like Bestiary because it's only when you cast, and we have a lot of creatures that do not get cast. Oh, God. Oh, God. Time's running out. Time is running out. Uh, it's probably compulsive. I like having the extra way to draw cards, and we have, like, cultivates and things to put lands in our hand. Court of Calling seems good. Oh, especially with all these creatures we can make. Oh, I like that. Do you like that? I was paying attention to chat. Oh, yeah. Card Calling's good. Yeah, that's good. We named the dog Hunter. I love that dog. This guy came back. I think this guy's very good. Yeah. I mean, the Jordan deck's good, but um, the problem is, like, you can beat them before their spend goes off. Before their... It sounded like you said before their spend goes off. Good talk. sussed. I sussed. What? Wow. People got no respect in this cube. I'll just take a path. Where's our opposition? In the last pack. (coughs) I'm I'm making a pseudo white deck over here on the sideboard. Yep. Oh, Pre- preordained, man. I was like, oh wait, there's an actual good card for us in this pack. Good lord, look at this deck so far. And preordained has got to be like, outside of Ancestral Recall, it's got to be the best blue one drop, right? Uh, what about Brainstorm? <clears throat> a lot of times preordained's better. Like, if you don't have a fetch land, Brainstorm can be pretty bad. I don't disagree with you. Are you ready for this sweet opposition? There's nothing worse than getting Brainstorm locked. Opposition called shot. That's true. That is pretty bad. Happens all the time. Does it happen all the time? It does to me. Wow. Maybe you should stop playing Brainstorm. Or I should drop my fetch count. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, Thank Breeding you. Pool. It's got to be Breeding Pool, right? Yeah, it's pretty good for us. Yeah, we, we can get it with the Windswept Heath, and we already missed the Tropical Islands. So this is the last chance. Time I would work l- a wheel, too. What? Time warp my wheel. I it might. Jitte is definitely not wheeling. No. It's gotta be breeding pool Never, though. Ever. Oh, cradle boy! Whoa! Yeah, we should have taken that Emrakul. <clears throat> yeah, that's a pretty easy pick as well. Rocco's modern life. Why is the song said, I wish you didn't. You. Um Narset's pretty annoying because of hexproof. Uh, but if you if you deny them, they have to get six mana is the only problem with Narset, so you can try to hate them out before that happens. Hate them and hate them and hate them. Hate them, berate them. Also, they're really weak if you destroy their artifacts. You're really weak. Wow. Do you like Whisperwood Elemental or Kiora better? Yesterday, I made an emblem with Kiora and I started making some Krakens. They lost. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think once that happens, it's, it's pretty hard to lose. That's, I agree with you. It was It was definitely difficult to lose. Um, I mean, Mr. Wood's good against Rass, but it's just it's a four four that makes dudes. Yeah, I like the Cure though. Cure is a, f- a favorite of mine, so I'm just gonna take the favorite of mine. Favorite of mine. Tell me where did you go? Remember that Everclear song, Mike? Honesty stream. If you could fight one hungry sized Howie or one hundred Howie sized hungries, which would you choose? I don't know the the aspects here. What's an aspect? Is that like... Is that like a dingleberry? 
Yeah, sure. Okay. I have that Arkham Daxon's Cancer EDH deck, so I can't say anything. Yeah, Arkham Daxon is pretty, pretty busted. I think it's just overgrown battlement here. We want creatures for our guy's cradle, and we also want two drops. And we actually don't have a ton of the green rampy guys. Okay, green rampy guy. I used to have an Arkham Daxon deck, but it was back in the day when you could play Tillerian Academy, so it was even more busted. You like Daxon? Yeah. I like Daxons. Oh, Occam Dagson. Yeah, I like Occam Dagson. It's only it's pretty good. Yeah, but Finhorn Elves, they only one drops. We also already have Court of Calling. Okay. I don't think we need both. I'm going to take the one mana, gentlemen. Jason is definitely better, though. But This is definitely better, though. Well, Charlie the Sage? Maybe? <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't get anything great. I mean, it gets things that we need, though, right? Like, any of these is fine. They all ramp us. Why do you speak faster than I can type? I like this guy just for the burn matchup. If that exists. Like, how do you feel about Brea combo? Um, it's pretty good. Oh my god, Quacker2000, Frank Laporte keeps stealing my money. I'll never tell. I remember just the other day seeing a Brea list that had apparently 65 infinite combos in it. So Did you say 61? No, 65. Cosme, thank you so much. Really appreciate the resub, as you know, buddy. You are a class act, sir. I don't care how slow you are. Slows me. What's annoying about Brea is like you stop one of her combos and then she just does another combo the next turn. <laughs> Joke's on you. I have many of combos. Do we take the Dryad Green Seeker, which helps our Gaia's Cradle? Or do we take the Search Around, which helps our Rafelos? Hmm. I like Search. I like Search, too, because it can also get a blue. I don't know. We didn't get Opposition and we didn't get Crater Hoof. I'm really sad about both of those facts. This is like, is this even a real draft if you don't get those? Is this even a real blue-green deck with tokens if you don't get those cards? That's my question. I think so. I don't think so. Hmm. Fake news. Press F for respect. Press F for fake news. Kranko... Mike's name was Cranko in college. It still is. It's true. Cranko's pretty good. We actually need one more playable here. Oh, well, found it. Actually, with Search, Finhorn Elves, Elvish Mystic, and four of these two-mana ramp spells, we can probably do 16 lands, you think, right? I feel like that's fine. Hmm. Temple Garden's decent with Windswept Teeth because it lets us play like a path or something if we want to. I don't think I care about that though. If we had a blue green dual land, or blue white dual land, that'd be great. Or fetch land. This is Wall of Blossoms. Maloku could be good. I'll take the Maloku. It could have been. I, I, I don't hate Wall of Blossoms, but I don't love it either. Oh, this is Savannah. Huh. Yeah, Ravage Dawn. <clears throat> I'm surprised that we've got so few, like, playables for our deck. Like, I almost feel like we have to play just Bail Off in the main deck. Oh, all right. Well, that'll do. Oh, okay. Never mind. Everything worked out. This is also significantly better now because we have two one drops to get with it. So, okay. Is Green Sun Zenith just better than Primal Command? Probably. Yeah, Primal Command's a little clunky. Five mana is just like that's more than I want to spend. I'm gonna take this Legion's Landing. Oh, Zenagos. If we took the, I think we can probably get away with sixteen lands. Yeah, we're definitely getting away with sixteen lands. One, two, three, four. I think three is actually fine. All the ways to play blue spells, we have... I'll move everything over here. Fertile Ground gets blue. This gets blue. Shaman gets blue for creatures, but we don't actually have any blue creatures. Search for Mario gets blue. Cultivate gets blue. So, these are all blue sources right now. This is seven blue sources. So, that's actually ten blue sources with three islands. And we want a bunch of forests for Rafelos. So 9, 10, 11, 12. 
done. Yeah, this seems good. This deck is amazing. Come at me, bro. Don't don't at me. How do you guys feel about the Gitrog monster? I love the Gitrog monster as a creature. Hey, did we talk about Assassin's Trophy yet? You are here, buddy. Greetings from somewhere in Rhode Island. The Fofo and I are driving from New York City to Cape Cod. The stream is hooked up to the Costera. Could you please tell the Fofo to say, Mother, may I then spell CP backwards? Mother, may I P-U-C? What's going on right now? I feel like you lost me toward the end there. Oh, we're playing M-Goat. I'll keep this hand. Would you keep this hand? No. My mom has Amazon Prime. How can I gift myself a subprime? That is a good question. You gotta hack into your mother's account. First off. You said you, said you wouldn't keep this hand? No. Really? It kinda, it's kind of do nothing. It's compulsive research. We just draw three and discard a land. Yeah, but like, there's no mana accelerants in this hand. Just search for tomorrow. It's not that much of an accelerant, though. We just okay, threw this guy. Now, now the hand's good. I'm actually going to play this first because now we can either play both of these. Yeah, but this comes down on turn four or on turn three, and then you just, it's like it's just like having a turn two guy, right? I guess. On turn three, you have four mana. We're Same just as if. going to kill our stupid mana guy. Oh, oh God. Dude. That's what's going to kill us. <laughs> We've opted to kill you. And, oh, that's actually pretty okay. I'm going to play this now. And hope you don't have a removal spell for my 1 1. A yeah, good truck monster is actually a really busted commander. However, if they do have a removal spell, they can't also make a rat, so. You know. Is Good Truck Monster busted? Is it a busted commander? Uh, It's like one of the best command. It's like one of the best competitive EDH decks, actually. Really? Yep. I would not have guessed that. So let me ask you something. As far as like competitive EDH decks, how much do you feel like it's actually relevant of the commander? Or, or do you think it's. Uh, the strategies the commander promotes. Does that make sense? Like, how much is it the actual card? The Gitrog monster, right? Like, how much is it the actual card, the Gitrog monster? Or is the deck good because the Gitrog monster has cool strategies associated that you build your deck around? Uh, for the Gitrog monster deck, it is the Gitrog monster. Like, he's the whole... He's, like, he's part of your combo piece. He's part of your synergy, your draw engine. Like, he's everything in that deck. Uh, but there's plenty of decks that really, like, playing your commander, like, never happens. Like, there's, like, infinite storm decks where you just never play your commander. You just play it for the colors, basically. I play for the colors. I would say most competitive decks don't rely on their commander. They didn't make a rat? We didn't make a little ratty rat rat. Fertile at ground here. Please consider Muldrotha Buck. I actually was considering Muldrotha because that's a cool dude. Going to make a green. I'm going to search for tomorrow. What's CEDH? Competitive? Is yeah. that what they call it? Yeah, that's like what the form. Oh my god, you friggin' nerds. That's mostly because of a uh, We call it a C E D Oh, I see. I see. Why not C Commander? C Commander. You can call it C Commander. C -c 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 Commander. I will make a rat. Oh, what? Wow. What is this deck? Four colors with double blue? Jesus. My god, discarding a Consecrated Sphinx to a pack ride is not something I ever thought I'd have to see in my lifetime. Uh, Josh, uh, I mostly play somewhere in between... Like, I like to have a deck that's somewhere in between competitive and casual. Like, in the nice mid-range. I have a nice That's mainly because where I play, like, it's not ultra-competitive. Ultra-competitive! What we're gonna do right now is go 1-2... Three, four, five, deranged hermit, and equip. Seems okay. 
I agree with you. Pro Black seems good against this. I guess they could just have Lightning Bolt or something. Or Path to Exile. I forgot it was in a mono black deck. I just saw the... I saw the black creatures and I was like, oh, I guess they're mono black. <laughs> Which completely goes against their four color mana base. Are they going to attack here? That seems amazing if they attack. Oh my god, really? I mean, they have to have a trick here, right? I'm bringing home my baby bumblebee. Why'd you double block? Why did I double block? Because oh, if they make it a 4-4. Right, yeah, yeah, they're 2-2. Two two, so. Yeah. If they discard a rat, that's fine because both these guys die. And this guy dies. If they don't discard a rat, if they kill this guy, then these guys live, but we take nothing. Pack rat's a hell of a magic card. Um, sure, that's still that's still really good for us. That's still great for us. Oh my god, we get to untap into Jace the Mind Sculptor. Pretty good. Wow. So we actually traded Consecrated Sphinx, Swamp, Kolagon's Command, and Pack Rat for a Sword, an Island, and a Deranged Hermit. That is more than fine. Now we have seven mana and a Jace, and they have three lands. I think that's I think that's the equivalent of of good times. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, we can actually put these two back, scry them away, and then draw. Oh, Rando. Well, that's no good. Draw of the Light is definitely a competitive commander. 100%. Well, now we get three lands out of the way from the top of the deck, which is nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are only four lands in our deck that are not at the bottom. Bringing home a baby, Michael B. Won't my Michael be so proud of me, you know how you know that's you know that song, right? Hopefully, my bober will be proud. I'm gonna get a kiki jiki. <clears throat> Your bober? Mm -hmm. What's a bober? Sober scrober. What's what's a scrober? A bober dad. <laughs> oh, that's legit. One of the funniest things you've ever said. Five, six, seven, eight. It's certainly up there. Oh my. What do they get with that? Uh, hanger back walkie. I'm okay. just going to kill one, two, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty sure we can just Woodfall Primus and kill this land. Scrober, a is a bober I wish there was an umlaut over the B because it looks like Bobber Dad. If your scrober is too close to your scrotum, buddy, that is that is a problem you need to remedy, my friend. Scrober abuse. I don't know what to put back. I want to play a land. I guess we'll put you and you back. Play this. We could just play both of these. Is that better? No, I kind of want to get rid of this land. I could have actually gotten rid of this and just taken them off black. Which might have been better. Popper Commander? Oh, God. So what, your your deck has to be under, like, what, $20 in Commander? That seems... Oh, I guess we win. That seems impossible on the amount of cards alone. Didn't your Scrober go to the uh, go to the store to get some cigarettes? Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, I like Baloth here because they have Kuligon's Command. If they make us discard Baloth, it's pretty good. Also, I like that we just won a match with uh, with them having a pack rat. 
Won't mock I'm just gonna run 41. How do you feel about that? Some of my MTG commander decks are three tickets. That's crazy. How is that even real? All cards are common. Commander is uncommon. How many uncommon commanders even are there? Uh, there's probably a lot more thanks to Dominaria. Oh yeah, fair. That set was that set was pretty rife with uncommon legendary creatures. Popper is all is all commons. Wow, real. Tell me more. Ooh, I see you want to die a lot. Yeah, this game looks great. I keep hearing nothing good. I've heard nothing but good things about it since. I've watched a playthrough of it. It's pretty. It's pretty great. Why do you watch all these games? Then when we play it, it's not. Dude, I don't remember. That was a while ago. That game came out ages ago. Well, you're a real bober, Dad. That's for sure. We'll never beat that game, man. I'll beat it. We're talking about Bloodborne, by the way, for the PlayStation Four. Give me a land off the top so I can fertile ground. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so grateful. So next turn we have one, two, three. We have four mana. If we hit a, we can preordain to try to hit a land. Are you gonna counter this? Sure, you got it. I guess Popper Commander only really com exists online because like no one in real life is gonna have a Popper Commander deck. Spazio, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back, Spazio Italian Mike. Um, I have a lot of interest in Artifact, but I could not get my hands on a Beta Key. So if anyone has any connections to Valve or some Beta Keys, you just hit me up. Let me know. Holla at your boy. Ho ho ho. Give me a land so I can... Really? This is how you're going to be? How's it going to be? I kind of like Shaman here. I think. I think building a Kapopper Commander would be cool if you can make it competitive enough to actually beat regular decks. Outside of that, I don't really see the upside. At least as far as on paper goes. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Good times. I actually think the popper pre the commander precons are great. I just wish they would make them as good as they did in 2016 or whatever the year the four color ones were. The year of your lord? Yes. Wow. Dreadbore on this guy. You have two cards in hand? Fascinating. Can I just bounce this? I guess they can attack Jace with the Llama Claw reaches at that point. This sword is scary though. I really don't like the sword here. Mike, on stream, how do you rank the swords in Commander? Um, I don't know if that's an honesty stream question. Honesty stream is usually reserved for the hard hitting questions uh, that you might make jokes about. That just seems like I'll a question. I'll still answer it. I think <laughs> I don't think you shouldn't. I think Sword of Fire and Ice is really busted, considering most decks are blue. Uh, I'd say Sword of Feast of Fam is a close second, and all the other swords are kind of blue. They're kind of blue, unless of course you happen to be playing an opponent with those colors. I feel like it's Jace just bounced the rat. I mean, if they want to kill Jace, they can't replay the rat this turn. And if we get to untap with Jace, it's pretty strong, so. Mike, extra hot sauce or normal hot sauce? Honestly, stream. Definitely extra hot. Oh, I like that. All right, so now they're going to equip. Seems good. Why wouldn't they just make a rat here? Commander stopped being fun when they started making more stuff just for Commander. I think the opposite of that is true. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I think that's entirely inaccurate. Now that you have specific cards for Commander that actually play well within that format, I think that's uh, it's just a way better. All right, two cards, two cards. We're going to put Avenger and... What are we going to play here? We're playing Rafelos and probably Eternal Witness here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are we getting back of Witness? I don't know. We're going to play a land this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have six lands. Rafelos, if Rafelos lets us untap... I think we'll just put this and this back. That rat's going to be a big boy. Actually, we could get Fertile Ground. And then next turn, we can play for... We can go Fertile Ground. We can Witness, get Fertile Ground. And then next turn, we can go Avenger of Zendikar, play the island off the top of the deck. And then we don't care about the rat. I think that's probably what we're doing. Yeah, that's People used good. to actually deck build. I don't know. Maybe it's where you play. Like where I play, like people still play very interesting commanders that you don't see often and like interesting strategies. I don't see a lot of homogenized decks where I play, so Yeah, that yeah. sounds like a that sounds like a, a store issue. Yeah. That sounds like, like if, a, you're, if you're if you're only playing against cutthroat people, then yeah, you're probably gonna see like the same couple generals. C commanders. Commanders, yes. Their name the format's named after them. Thank you. Oh, and our Jace gets to live? My god. And our Rafelos gets to live? Oh, Consecrated Sphinx. 100 biddies. Sure. Wow. Been a while since I've been able to catch a live stream. Sonic Hound, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I really don't want to. This is... No bueno. Uh... So... I really want to bounce this because I definitely don't want to use Jace's ability here. <laughs> well, we have a pro black sword, which is good. Like, I'm tempted to just attack with Rafelos here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have, we can play both of these, but then we can't equip. So they just draw an extra two a turn, but they don't get to do anything with the mana, which is nice. Jace is not lookout. Jace is draw three. Making a dudes. Making a dudes. That's what I just said. That doesn't even make any sense. Making a dudes, you know. I do like the option of uh, adding four with Rafelos, playing Kiora with the four. Obviously using a blue instead. Having the seven left over, playing Avenger, using Kioras, bouncing the Consecrated Sphinx, negative one in Kiora to get a land, playing the land through Kiora, and then pumping these guys. That's also very, very good. I think our I think our choice this turn was good too. I mean, because if they play if they spend a mana to kill this guy, they don't get to also play the Consecrated Sphinx again, which is nice, which means we get a Jace activation. Someone mentioned you get the entire 100% of bits knowing Twitch. I doubt that's true. Uh, I think I think you do get all of the bits because you pay a fee up front, right? So, like, um, for 100 bits, it's more than a dollar for you. So, we get a dollar of the bits and you and you pay whatever the fee is. 
Interesting. Okay. Well, that's good. He duplicated you. Yes, he did. And this is not a black or green creature, unfortunately. Really? Okay, I'll block. Oh, boy. Not thrilled with either of these things. One, two, three. However, we can shuff. We can shuff. Get my shuff on. Hop out of bed. One, two. And we also have a ton of blockers, which is nice. Can we just actually make it so Kiora... Can we ultimate Kiora? <laughs> it's going to be a while. Really? It's going to be like two turns. What's her minus? Five. Oh. That doesn't take too long at all. No, it doesn't. That's why, you're, that's why it's so easy to do. Making my way downtown, walking fast as I might be. <laughs> Who sings that song? Vanessa Carlton? I think sure. I someone someone's actually told me that in the chat before. Oh my god, I nailed it. I would play it just as a meme, but then her ultimate isn't bad because it wins you the game. I might you might say it's actually good. It's actively good and game winning. That's what I would say. Mike B had coffee. It's true. They can tell. That actually used to be one of my favorite songs when it first came out. That's, It's not bad. It's a very catchy song. Hey, man. Can yep. you uh, go to a different screen? Because I can't look at that anymore. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me open this in a new thing. So this is what's on the screen that Mike is like, I can't, I can't look at this anymore. <laughs> I can't, like... Oh, boy. This is what, this is what he's seeing. <laughs> I can't like Oh god, it's just amazing. Alright, you're playing Phantasm Image. What do you copy? Duplicant? Can't? Duplicant? Pack copy pack rot, maybe? Okay. You get the Rafellos? Who cares about that? You know, it was one of our best blockers. It's a two one. I mean I can just re equip I can equip the sword to one of these other dudes. Bits for my for the B and Mike B. Also Twang. You're dead. Oh, someone was in chat yesterday. We were playing a game. Uh it was just a Boros. We had a Boros deck and they had like the uh the collected company devoted druid combo. And in the chat they were just like, Good game. You're dead. And we were just like Shut up. <laughs> like it was just so obnoxious to to literally like who types in the chat you're dead. Just, okay, just win the game and I'll be dead. Like you don't have to you have to tell me. Nope. Did you make him play it out? I sh I think I did. I hope you did. Okay, do not be three lands. Oh, that's not three lands at all. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We can go five and three. I like that. Cause you know Mike walks a thousand miles. Apparently, we can't handle the truth. Shut up and take my money. One swag cat buck. So five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll have nine. I guess we keep the battlement. We can put these two on top. I'm just hoping you don't have a removal spell for this guy because I really want to put this on the. <sighs> I have a counter spell instead. Ooh. I would not be surprised if they had Colagon's command. Because don't they always? Don't they always? Destroy your sword, kill your guy. <sighs> Must be nice. What's it like to never not have it? That's my question. I'm not gonna write you a mic song because you asked me to make a break for me. I guess we just put the sword on this guy. And we kept the land in hand in case they do have Colagon's command and they want to make us discard. Then uh, we can just discard the land instead of it having to discard a, an actual spell. 
They have three cards. One is Sphinx. Sure. Man, these plant tokens have been OP. God, Tender Shoot Dryad. I was so excited. And we got Eternal Witness in the graveyard, right? Dang. We can shuffle our library and then search for... Is that, is this, is this happening in order, I wonder? Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, we're going to Compulsive Research, too, on top. Ooh, that's gross. I think we're just bouncing you again. And then, like, Jace is, Jace is pretty much good to go. Prevent all damage from you. And now this, this ultimate's next turn, which is pretty gas. Compulsive research, me brain. Me brain. Uh, discard a land. What can we get? I mean, Doreen's tournament's pretty good to just play, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. What can we get? That's a good question. We can get a Bayloth. How much mana do we have? We can get... Oh, we can get Woodfall Primus and actually kill the sword. Or their land. We can kill their second blue. One, two, three. So how much would it cost? It would cost 11, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We actually don't have enough mana right now. Which is pretty funny. Yeah, so I guess we just play Hermit. So so we can get something for three mana. I think it's probably just Hermit here. I think that's correct. It just gives us infinite blockers, and they have no way to get around that. And next turn we get with the ultimate Kiora. Oh, we can also Court of Calling for the same thing now, because we have a million guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana, so we can cord for something for seven. That's pretty sweet. Oh, come on. <sighs> they literally just have everything in this game. <laughs> Hearing you get upset about that's pretty funny, because, like, usually you aren't the one that... <sighs> no, we just lost the game. I'm trying to figure if we have anything that counters that. Can we cord for anything? No, they're going to get the emblem, right? Well, yes, but I mean, like, is there a way to, like, get rid of something? Lucky, 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 lucky. I'm trying to figure out what's in our deck. How can I do that easily? That's really like obnoxious. cord for something to kill our own Kiora. Yeah, yeah. You know the funny thing is, Ravenous Bail or uh, Woodfall Primus would actually do it, but we're literally one creature shy. We do not have a snake. That would be amazing. Our seven drop is a vendor. Six drop is Ravenous Bailoth. Our five drops are. Tender shoot and <sighs> I, I see looking is hard because I have to determine how many creatures I want to look with. Let's take a gander. Oh. Image would have done it. If we let this resolve with the trigger on the stack, we could have Phantasmal Image. Oh, no, that wouldn't have worked. No, nope, wouldn't have worked. Would Phantasmal Image copy the cells to get it back? Wouldn't that work? Yes, but like by the time it's it wouldn't have been, there's no point where that's legal. There isn't? No. Why? Um, actually, this should be fine. Actually, I think we can just win next turn, right? We can just play this. Because once it resolves, 
then they get priority, so they get to activate this. Oh, sure. If we do it before it resolves, then ours is going to resolve first, where we steal the Kiora. Then theirs resolves, and they steal it back. Oh, we could have also gotten Avenger. That would have been good, too. Yeah, there's a lot going on, and we have 9 minutes to their 14, and we still have another game after this if we lose. So I kind of didn't want to... Uh... There were a lot of different decision trees here. Like, we could have actually waited to this resolved and then decided what to do. But uh, they might actually just take the sword, equip the sword, and attack Kiora. That's another option. Nope, definitely not doing that. All right. <sighs> yep. I don't think we have 10 mana to actually save both. Five, six, seven, eight. We have nine. Every time we've been one mana shy of everything we want to be doing. It's pretty comical. However, do we have enough guys to just kill them? I don't know. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This guy we will not save. And this guy we will. Don't be a land. Wow. A good land, but... Actually, do we want to do that? Hmm. If we just attack with everything, they block five of them. Can we even win this game? Don't think so. Well, that's sad. Do we have Primal Command on the deck? Nope. So what do they take? Six here? Seven, eight? I think we just concede for time. I think you just shut your face for time. Wow. Now, we still have, like, Woodfall Primus and stuff. I don't think we're dead, but... It's definitely an uphill battle. Oh, they still have Consecrated Sphinx, too? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to go the next game. Hmm. Those draws were good. But I don't think we can deal with Consecrated Sphinx in this position, unfortunately. No, we do have a problem with man. Well, yeah. We already went over this. It came back. You didn't know that? Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely bringing that in. Um... I really should have a better answer for it. It's like Vivian Reed would be, like, as you can see, Vivian Reed would be amazing because it can kill duplicates, it can kill Sword of Fire and Ice, and it can kill Consecrated Sphinx. Like, the number of things Vivian Reed can kill is absolutely just pretty unbelievable. Yeah, Ostone protecting the ultimate and Planeswalker being stolen is pretty narrow, though, unfortunately. Why is Zealous Conscript any permanent? <sighs> I mean, the same reason Assassin's Trophy is any permanent. <laughs> Ostos seems so much worse for us than for them. I don't know why you guys are suggesting Ostone. It was literally reasonable in that one situation if we had it on board, and then it kills every other thing we own, which is significantly more than they do have. They do have. They do have. Mm hmm. Is there a land on top? <laughs> you better pray. I mean, the hand is great if there is, right? Okay. Well, there's land on top. Well, we're on the play. Yeah, that's how losing works. Spicy. I know. Took a gamble. Lucky, 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 lucky. Get rewarded. Lucky, 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 lucky. So now at worst, we have a turn two master. Turn three master. At worst? Yeah. That's at best, I think. If this guy, if this guy dies, we don't. Doom Blade. Never don't have it. Didn't have it. 
Boo -doo 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 -doo. Look at all my lands. Oh man, this is great. We can go get a three drop. I think I'd just rather play Master and Overgrown Battlement here, right? Yeah, I was mostly kidding. Oh, he was mostly kidding. Not entirely. But mostly. But mostly. We are so good at this game. I mean, now they're going to Doomblade the Master or Dreadbore. No, they can't even Dreadbore. They got an island and a Lava Claw reaches. What's his opponent's name? My goat. Um, that's my goat. Oh. Cool. Shredding them bones. Which one do you kill, though? Master? Interesting. Look how much mana you're giving me right now. Forced. Ooh, that's still good. So, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. We can cord for something for five. Why did, again, why didn't I take a screenshot of the deck, man? Because you're bad at this game. That is why. God, I really hate forgetting that. Oh, we got Tender Shoot. Tendy Shoot. We can Tendy Shoot here. We can also Drain Tournament. Tendy Shoot seems better, though, right? No reason to do it now. Well, it is because it's every upkeep. So. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Wait. What? Oh, okay. Never mind. Wait. Finhorn. Or Eternal Witness for Master is also pretty good, but I don't think that's better than Tendy Shoot. Like, they just have to have an answer for this. And they're probably not paying for this guy, so they're probably going to go Dreadbore slash Doomblade. They also have eight, so on their turn they become three threes. Unless we draw land and then on our turn they become three threes. E-Witness e -witness for Cord is, is okay, but then you're really just only getting an E-Witness out of it, right? Because you're just your, your original Cord kind of gets canceled out. One hunter needs a new treat, but hunter doesn't need a new treat. He's had enough treats. Oh, I see. Well, now I can just play Jason Bounce that guy, I guess. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, you get your own little tendy shoot. Okay. You get a tendy shoot. You get a tendy shoot. Everybody get a tendy shoot. I mean, how do we play Jason? No, we don't. I don't have a second blue right now, but okay. in the future... I will choose myself. Only option to bail. I thought you get it back when you just. That would be gas. I didn't know we were playing that guy. Two cards, you and you. On the bright side, they're quite far from. City's Blessing. They need three perms. And they're going to get two guys out of it, which is really unfortunate. Who are you to say how many treats he needs? I'm his treat daddy. I guess land guy is enough to give your tender shoot some gas. Some gasoline in the tank. It's funny, like, magic games like this, you can pinpoint exact moments where, like, things kind of went off course and you can um, you can kind of see where you could have like the game could change direction like I think for us it was not having a second blue because if we bounce this guy last turn and kill it um, it gets significantly better and it gives us a much different turn last turn and, and we get to brainstorm this turn as well And now they just have a bunch of 1-1s. One and they only have one black for Pack Rat. However, I don't really want to attack either because then they just pump this guy, make three 1-1 one -one tokens, and kill our Jace. Whereas right now, they don't really have an efficient way to pressure Jace. Well, yes, dying when we bounce it is the entire point. If it just went back to their hand, I would definitely not be thrilled about that. Are we dead? Are they really going to, like, 
combo us here? I guess we'll find out. Realistically, I don't. I almost feel like Splinter Twin should not be in this cube because it is. Um, it's one of the few combos that are like this. Like at least in the Vintage Cube, like you have a lot of different combos you can do. We have five minutes on the clock. All right. Well, now we don't care so much about the Jace. See, that's the thing. Like you just made my Jace concerns go away. And if you can't deal with this Tender Shoot Dryad, like. Oh, okay. Well, that's the thing, I guess. What's the play here? Court of Calling, maybe? Court for Avenger. Play land. Oh, I like that. One, two, three, four, f four, five, six. Oh, this is actually a million. I forgot about this guy. Yeah. Let's do that. We gotta eat and witness first, but. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is enough right here. 11. Yeah, you're going to discard a card, I bet. This looks like a pack rat, if I ever saw one. Alright. We're still in this. So, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's actually perfect. Ten and three. I can't imagine you have an answer for Tender Shoot Dryad with a white and a blue up. You're gonna trade for one, for one Cyberling. A bold strategy, Cotton. Sure. I think this is going to be game. Uh, court of Calling. I'm trying to play fast because we only have four and a half minutes. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So seven. Uh, get Avenger. Land. Alternatively, I didn't realize we would have an extra mana for Eternal Witness. We could have actually waited to Primal, to get Woodfall Primus, in case they do, like, top deck a Splinter Twin. Which I assume they have. Which I, they're just gonna do. They have one card. Well, they would have done it last turn. Right, that's why they're gonna top deck it. Oh, yeah. They're gonna draw it as their one card. Uh, always yes. Yep, here we go. Well, they either have it or they die, so... Well, Splinter Twin slash Kikiji here right off the top. Like you do. Wow, Tender Shoot Dryad actually did a ton of work. Mono 3 threes dot deck. Woodfall is non-creature, yes, but you can actually kill a Splinter Twin if they have Splinter Twin. We can also kill the uh, the third red if they have Kiki Jiki. So, I mean, obviously you have to choose one or the other, but... We have no cards in hand. I don't think they have it or else they would have slammed it by now. That's what I feel like, too, but then they slow roll it and you're like, okay, I guess you had it. Good times every day. Good times, everything is alright. Uptight, out of sight. Okay, you're either dead or you're not. T -t -t Today, Junior. What what the problem is? Okay, that's not Splinter Twin Mana. 
Are you going to Coligon's command that guy? Okay, of course you are. And you got back a Phantasmal image. Okay, you're not dead. Which is very good. You get Avenger of Zendikar. <sighs> Jesus. Oh my god. Well, that changes everything. You're right. I thought we already killed that stupid thing. What? No, that was last game. Well, that's good. That's real good. Okay. Um, target player gains seven life. Put a non-creature permanent and target player shuffles. Uh, put a target non-creature permanent. Search for a creature card. Um, I guess we'll just give you this back. What's good here? What's good here? Phantasm image? Does that do anything? It gives us a, another huge army. Rattleclaw, Rampaging Belos. Oh, Eternal Witness. We get Eternal Witness to get back um, something. Anything. To get back... Pledge Jace? No, the Dryad. Okay. And then we play it, and now we get a 3 threes back. Uh, I don't know what's attacking with Avenger. Okay. I don't even like attacking with these plant tokens, to be honest. Alright. Mono 3 threes. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do. That's pretty good. Image into Witness into Tender Shooty McShooterton. And they have one they have no cards in hand, so their top deck is gonna be a celestial colonnade. Um so we get two more tender shooties. Well, I guess one more tender shooty. And they take nine, they're dead here, so they gotta block with something else. Probably this guy. These are good blocks though. I mean, they only lose one guy. Oh, but they lose both rats though. Oh, but they get to replay it and make these guys bigger, I guess. But we get to we get a draw. If our draw is a spell, it's cool. If it's a land, it's cool. So I think they're dead to our attack anyway. Yeah, they're at five, and they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blockers. We have six, seven, eight guys here, and then we have one, two, three, four, five attackers. We have exactly enough attackers. They do have one lava claw reaches, but I'll assume that they can't block one two power guy. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe they can. Oh, we don't have a Misty. I think you mean Windswept Teeth. Okay, that's pretty good, I guess. Just destroy their... Uh, their Lava Claw yeah. Reaches. Turn them sideways. All right, that should be Xaxes. Actually, it's way more than Xaxes because... Well, no, they could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They have 9 blockers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I think they go to 1. Oh, this is rough. I may have miscounted. They lose a bunch of guys, though. Maybe. They do, yeah, they definitely lose a bunch of guys. I mean, we're at 20, though, so there's no way their crackback wins. I'm just at 2 minutes and 37 seconds, so I'm trying to play fast here. Yeah, so they take 4 here. And no, there's Avenger, so they have to block with Pestermite. You have to throw Avenger in front of Pestermite. Yep. So they lose this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. They keep this guy. This guy's dead. And then we have, like, infinite guys, though. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven guys, and they have... Also, Woodfall Primus has Trample, so... Oh, that's a good point. We win this game. All right. Woo! Had to earn that one. Our deck is sweet. 
There was a sweat and then the epic. Keep. These are the only three cards I had to see. And I was like, done. It doesn't have any kind of acceleration, though. Do you not consider Search Tomorrow acceleration? A little bit. Do you consider two drop, like, Rattleclaw Mystics acceleration? Yeah. But it's the same thing, then. You play a Rattleclaw on turn two, and then on turn three, you have one extra mana. With Search on turn three, you have one extra mana. I want more mana, though. Be that as it may. Sometimes when I drink out of this, yeah. Stuff. Sometimes when I drink out of this, I just, I just forget how to drink. Green Sun for Elf seems pretty bad, especially when we have Cultivate and Search for Tomorrow. In the queue, I, I just don't think it's necessary to, uh, to get a, a one drop when we have nothing to really cast other than Woodfall Primus. I'd much rather save this for a card that is. A little more impactful. I want a rematch in the future, Mr. I have a Michael of Poor Bits. Zaxor, thank you so much, buddy. Always appreciated. Rafelos. Forest is what I meant. Cultivate. Everything is all right. One, two, three, four, five. So now we have five mana, six mana on turn four. How do you feel about that? It's okay. New opponents that have fun, but wish no luck. That's true. Look, they're playing Sultai, which I can't fault them for, but they did only play a Seagate Oracle. Now we're going to Primeval Titan. JK, we're just going to Tender Shoot Dryad. Man, Tender Shoot Dryad OP. This is actually a surprisingly strong card, I think. Triggered! Because it was a trigger. Thank you. You're welcome. What if I put a Phantasm? What if I Phantasm Mage Sky? They just get plus four, plus four each? Ooh. Woo! Sure. The amount I don't care about that is astronomical. You ready? Mm hmm. Boom. Tree trees. Five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just going to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> what? That's it? Really? I think they conceded before I even chose. They have six cards in hand. Got them, boys. Okay, that was a little... I don't even know we boarded in here. I don't either. I think we just... Oh, Bayloth, in case they cause they have Hypnotic Spectre. Yeah, uh, true. It's a, it's a rare possibility they hit that, but... He was like, you know what? I'm not dealing with that nonsense. Maloku could be good just to deal with their blockers, but yeah, this hand's good. Breeding pool. Look, turn two ramp. What you probably think is better than... Two turn ramp. Two turn, two turn ramp, huh? Remember that time Nick did the baby voice? I was around for that, but I do know his baby voice and it's pretty creepy. It's not okay. Oh, man. All right, so let's get a bee pool. And then we'll get a, a beetle mint. Ah, uh, the old beetle mint. You know beetle mints. A fine year. That's not a year. A fine year. Is Nick hat Mike? Nick is hat Mike. I like that with last game our opponent conceded in the face of two tender shoot dryads. That is not a thing that I thought would happen. Not in the year of our Lord. In the year of our Lord. In the year 2000. Remember? Do you remember those Conan O'Brien sketches with the no, year? No, I just referenced it, but I don't remember. I didn't know it. if that was what you did. I didn't know that was what you did. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Okay, I'm a bad man. I'm sorry. My bad man. My, my bad man. Bad man. What are you doing here? Abrupting? Killing all things. I feel like you're going to regret that, that now. Maybe you can copy your uh, Rafelos. Yeah, that's a good idea. Pro play. Yeah, but they didn't see the Woodfall Primus, so that, that can't that can't have been something that uh, that influenced their decision. Oh, yeah, that's just fine. 
Okay, so what you're saying to me is that I get to make four, eight, nine mana. So I can go Hermit into... I can't pay for both is the problem. Oh, I guess I can, if, I pay, if I play Mystic, I can. Can we get Avengy? Oh, actually... No, we can get Woodfall Primus and kill this, right? Yes. That's pretty insane. That's pretty gas. And we have a Phantasmal Mage to do it again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's fantastic. Destroy the child. We did a little Roseanne meme the other day, and we were like, I thought the deck was white! <laughs> I was like, oh, that sounds perfect. I wanted to emulate the sound without actually saying what happened, but I think we did a good job doing that. So I just oof him for six. Also, Phantasmal Image, if, if we copy Primus, it just comes back. Yep, that's really good. Which land, though? Hissy? Yeah, Hissy's fine. Like, they have three blue and three black, so it's not really, like... I would have killed the, the blue-green lane. Oh, but, they concede. Wow. I guess two Woodfall Primuses, uh, you're like, well, that's that's the end. That's where I draw the line. See, man, we always win with the green decks. I think that's... If you get certain components, I think it's true. You have to have, like, ways to deal with enchantments, artifacts, and planeswalkers. I think if you have those, you're pretty good. commander we playing man i don't know gotta pick one that's where the brewing starts um so probably you probably want to do mono red right i am a big mono red fan so there were suggestions made mono red is actually uh very good uh, it's very just good to be fair really that's interesting yeah if, uh, mono red can be really brutal in the year 2000. Oh, it's like us Ruination. Ruination? Ruination. Ruination. Oh, yeah, that's pretty brutal. Yeah, that card is... That's not a fair magic card. Busted. Four other players. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to find this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there a reason you're the way that you are? Is that... Um, I was probably born this way. You're probably... You don't even know? I will play first. Let's see what 100%. we get. Oh There's yes, snapper, snapper, snapper doodle. Like this is so busted. Dude. It's real good. Uh, okay, no hold on. That guy got banned. Hold up. Okay, so Doomsday said some of his favorite commanders that he'd prefer preferences. The commanders he likes are Nekusar the Mind Razor, good one. Aloro, Ageless Ascetic, also good one. Atraxa. I love me some attracts. And Arcade's the Strategist. I don't know what Arcade's the Strategist is. It's the, it's the Doran one. Oh, the one that uh, Defenders... It's the new one, yeah. you can draw a card. It, yeah, that It card. gives them big butts. It makes their butts attack. Yeah, that card's good. So, those are, those are the preferences. I feel like they're probably varied enough that we can probably pick one of those. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, how do we feel about running out over on Battlement over Rafelos here? We just risk it for the biscuit. I don't like oh, mountain is scary. I'm gonna do this. I feel safer with this guy because next turn we can. Man. I mean, they got a mountain. Such a chump. How dare you? Double mountains. This dude's never surviving. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's find a land. Oh, uh, bottom you. I'll keep you. Sozu the Punisher. Oh gosh, <laughs> is that is that any player? Whenever any player puts a land into play, yes, deals him two damage. That's cringy, dude. Really broken, really really broken. And then you can play a, like a knock or whatever that card is. Oh hey man, look he died. Kid. Oh, hmm. Jackal Pup. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. 
What's the mono red deck go against deranged hermit? <laughs> this Try. is where they this is where they untap and have the perfect answer. They're like, this is what I do, stupid. The slag storm. Actually, that'd be fine because they killed both their guys. Right, it's like literally a one for two. It's three for three for one. Yeah, that guy's obnoxious, but Minotaur. I'm pretty sure we're just paying for this, right? Oh uh, yeah. Or do we? Or Actually, do we? hold on. One. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. Maybe we just get Avenger. That seems good. We don't have a land. I guess we could draw one. Let's see if that's the best option. It could also be, like, Eternal Witness, but I don't like spending this much mana. Yeah, I think it's just Avenger here. Hope we draw a land. Dude, we also have Phantasmal Image for next turn. We didn't draw a land. I still think it's fine. We have a lot of tokens against our opponent's uh, mono red deck. I am Valley Man. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Yep, that's fine. Dance. Land. Wood, wind, wood swept, wind, foot, wooded foothills, windswept teeth, whatever the... Alright, that's fine. So now we're going to do this. Copy you. Play you. Always yes. Always yes. Always yield. Um... I guess we can attack here, right? They can't give you first strike. Maybe we wait. What are we waiting for? Well, because Boros... These guys both have first strike, so they just eat two of these guys. This guy doesn't have first strike, but, I mean, he's gonna he's gonna block a guy, kill it, and then redirect two damage to something else. Probably our Avenger. Which doesn't seem great. Let's draw some cards. Yeah, that seems fine. We do have to win pretty fast here, because that dragon's going to kill us. Uh, we have three turns. Oh, Cultivate probably just wins this game. I Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. We have less than that, because uh, his Boros, whatever. Why don't we take an extra three? So this is actually ten here. <laughs> well, I think we're dead. We're not dead. We, can we, just, we just got to win on the crackback. How do we beat the Boros Reckoner? He just fives our face. That's a trigger, so like we would have to... Hey, Cultivato! Oh, they just conceded from the game. Because like all these guys are going to be 6-6s, six because they get four triggers each. Two from the land, and okay, then so I guess they die before the trigger happens. Yeah, it triggers when yeah after their damage is dealt. So the damage oh. is already dealt, so they can block three of them: one, two, three, and then they take six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, forty, <laughs> like a lot. Yeah. Oh, forty-four, and that's if they, they could choose to block these. They might take like thirty-two. After is that them. all you say? Only forty-four. So I like Bayloth here, and I like Primal Command here. Yeah, they gain life. Yeah, they gained life. Or we cut. Probably Sword of Peace and Famine. Doesn't seem great here. I agree. I also kind of like just splashing the Savannah off of the Windswept Heath. For what? For like Path. Uh, that's... Nah. We don't have an efficient answer for like Thunderbreak Regents. Or like uh, Stormbreast Dragons, rather. Yeah, but it's like one card. Thunder My Hellkite. Yeah, we but have, it's a freaking good one, man. Well, we have one... So that gives us two sources. Axel, thank you so much for continuing the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, two sources. I guess three sources, four sources. <laughs> Keep going. Four sources. Five sources could cultivate? Okay, there's a lot of sources. Well, maybe, then we'd have to put a planes maybe in, it too. Is good. But yeah. I could see that. I don't know if it's great or not. Uh, we could cut a blue card and cut an island. I would never do that. Okay, well, as long as you're being reasonable. <laughs> we could just bring in Maloku. Yeah. Why? It just chump blocks forever. Yeah, but you have to bounce a land. It's such a, I do not like that card. I'm not a fan. In this deck, though? No. I would love to be kept about 500 for this month, but I, I have my doubts. It's not looking great. But maybe you guys can organize something. 
You guys can organize a huge a sit in. A huge sub sit in. Yeah, I think it's just, I'm gonna smell like this. I think that's fine. Did we open a Jace yet? Yes, we did. No, not really though. Keep. If our boy lives. If our boy lives. Don't destroy the child. Don't destroy the. Oh, that was a. Look at that. Look at that. Did you see it? Maybe they'll waste their removal on this. That's one. what I was like. Yes, kill this. I'm tempted to just block here, actually. Oof. Whatever. What are they going to do? Now they don't have a good dude to cruise that thing with. Just going for it. Yeah. Well, because if they have a creature, they're probably going to play that to crew. And if they have a removal spell, they probably can't also play a creature. This is my guess. If they have, like, Burst Lightning Jackal Pup, then alright, so be it. Bursty Pup? Yep, that's fine. I don't care about Irish Shaman's piece of doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> Straight doo-doo! You got it. So that's six mana if you want. Yep. It's real close to Avenger territory. I mean, we can just play Avenger and Hinterland Harbor next turn. Mm-hmm. I guess it's probably better to play you, cast search off that, and then we get to keep the mana up. Not super exciting, but Avenger next turn should be very good. Why well, I can't see the stream, it says 2000 Network, or I can go and watch other streams. That's weird. That is weird why it does that. Hello, the mic. Is this, a, what is it, an orc shaman? An orc bork. How do you feel about orcs? Bork bork. Hey, we get the block. Well, what else would happen? Oh my god. So we just get to do one of these jobbies? Always yield to that, because it'll only happen one time. Play this doodle. Always yes, always yield. And pass it up. Surprised they didn't smuggler's copter last turn. I don't know why they didn't. Could have just crewed the uh, Rabble Master. Just crew the Rabble Master? What did you, wait, what? What did you say? What are you saying? Why didn't they crew with a rabble? That's man? what I'm saying. Like, unless they have, like, two cards that they're just like, I want to discard either of these things. They three damage, so that, that seems pretty relevant. Like, I'm obviously not attacking with this guy, and I don't have haste creatures. And, like, this guy was obviously discardable. This guy, I'll just put this guy in the trash can, right? I'm going to block you. I just block with the O4. I want to kill it, though. <laughs> but what if they got a zappy? That's fine. But I'm not going to like... But then they just keep amassing. A zappy? Mm -hmm. Phantasmal image. Oh, that's... Well, that's a change. That's that's a thing, isn't it? Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? I'm actually tempted to do Eternal Witness. Get a land back. Is that good enough? One, two, three... So what do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. So we can go Eternal Witness, Search for Tomorrow, that's 6. The one extra land will let us play Bailoth as well. I'm pretty sure that's... That seems good, yeah. It's not the most exciting Eternal Witness, but... We just need to pump our tokens is how we win this game. Correct. You're going away too, fat boy! 
One more. Search for tomorrow. So we're going to have three and then the land here. So we're going to go cast this. Just uh, get a fort. No. Why? No, we can't do it. Yes, we can. Oh, three, yeah, four. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to get the island. So if we draw a Jace, we're actually playing a Jace. I don't want to turn off turn off Jace, you big doo-doo brain McGillicuddy. Big doo-doo brain McGillicuddy. That's me. They're two threes. They don't have any good blocks. No, they have no good blocks. If they double block, that's fine. I'll trade with Rabble Master. Um... If they want to triple block this guy, that's also fine, I think. And then we still have great blocks here, so. You do got to be careful of the zappies. That is not incorrect. They took it. Okay. Lightning bolt our face. All right, so we only gained one life off of Obstinate Bayloth. I imagine that's still fine. This is probably scoop turn because I don't think they can break through these defenses. Also, yeah, imagine if we were at 10, this would be so much more relevant. Worth noting that we're playing against James Dean's hair. I had no idea that it was mm. still alive and had a Magic Online account. But here we are. Interesting. Yeah, putting us to 7, much more relevant than putting us to 13. My name is Michael, and I live in a turtle shell. Well, they would have put us to 10. We gained four, so we gained... Two. No, we put us to nine. Because we gained four, so we'd be, four, we'd be at four less. Okay, good talk. He just missed three damage. We'd be at ten. Oh, from your tank. So, you're talking about the yeah, smuggler's the copter. copter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Ooh, Hellrider. Woo! The spicy boy. That's actually reasonable. I wonder if we'd be dead if we were at ten. Jesus, look at all those triggers. We take six, we go to seven. Ooh, that's actually rough. Are we dead? We might be dead. We have three blockers. We block Hellrider, we block this guy, and we block... Alright, so you're blocking here, you're blocking here. We have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we gotta block the biggest one. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we go to one. This is great. And then we kill you. Yeah, we'd actually be dead if they didn't. <laughs> if they, if they didn't, if they miss, didn't their, miss their copter, we'd actually be dead. Yeah. Whoa, boy, that was they a spicy one. Nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next. Oh, also check my Patreon out today if you guys have not done so. I posted a little podcast, a little Frank Thoughts episode on the Assassin's Trophy, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. It is free. So this one is a free podcast, so you guys can check that out at patreon.com slash franklapore, and I'll see you guys later.